everyone, it is Liam Caddison here and we're reacting to Angel. This is episode 4 for season 4 as we come back from Vegas. We took a short trip there, uh, had some shenanigans that um, went on and um, yeah, we have managed to bring Lorne back into the fold as well as Cordelia. Downside, however, uh, is that she doesn't remember who anyone is, so... That's great. That's great. Um, but yeah, it's been a great first few episodes so far of um, Angel Season 4 so far. And I'm looking forward to seeing how, especially this first part of the season goes by. So yeah, uh, especially with the uh, all the other stories, um, not just uh, Angel Investigations, but Connor's story as well as um, Wesley slash the Wolf Woman Heart story. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how we do continue the season. So yeah, why don't we delve into this episode of Angel with episode number four for season four. Let's go. Hey. I think these guys are going to be needing help as well. <laughs> oh, that was, that was a bad mistake. Consequence. Yeah. For her interview. Really well. Ring. Okay. Um. Who am I? Well, great. Now she she doesn't even remember herself. Wow. What's important is that you're back. Ooh. There are other people here. Um. Not to sound all movie of the week, but. I think you might have some kind of amnesia. Like, maybe you fell or banged your head. Should we take you to a hospital? She fell hospital? from the stars. I don't need a... I don't know. But if Cordy's been where we think she has, anything's possible. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's kind of eerie, isn't creepy. it? Yeah, like... Hi. <laughs> Oh, uh oh. Hey, popular. No real surprise there. Down memory lane. Oh, Buffy, who's that? No one of significance. Yeah. Home room was fun. Too bad it burnt to the ground. <laughs> what? Hey, how about that giant snake? Dear Cordelia, <laughs> who's. Oh, is she gonna misinterpret that? Oh. Is that Lorne? Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Did Angel not hear that? You know, vampire hearing. Hello? Not exactly uh, settling for Cordy. Oh. Oh, 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 so I'll spill the beans about some nanotechno thingy that you want. <laughs> so, oh, Cordy. I look Russian to you. There's... Black Russian. <laughs> That's a drink. Says the head spy. Nobody is here. There's that inner Cordy. We love but her. You guys are lawyers. Was I a nun? A what? Were we not a happy family <laughs> because I was a nun? I was going through my stuff and I found all oh, these. Cordy. <laughs> oh, Cordy. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh no. Well, that went from zero to a hundred real fast. Oh! 
Oh no! Valise and squishy bug babies, because all that stuff's real, and that's the world I live in. And and I think I know why I don't remember any of this, because hey, who'd want to? Um, Did you leave out the part somebody? where she had a bar sticking out of her stomach? I know it's a lot to take in. It says a vampire with a soul and his wacky gang of sidekicks. Um, not a sidekick. <laughs> I think there's a way we might be able to sort this out. Does he look a little green to you? I mean, more than usual. Uh, great. Enough. Okay. You were. You were. Was great. she singing that in season? On the, I'm not sure. We're all just. Uh, but it sounds familiar. <laughs> I see a. I was a higher bang. Don't make me turn you into a rat. Can she do that? I mean, you're not Willow. <laughs> Let's go to the kitchen. We have cookies. I don't want a sandwich. I don't want cookies. I want to talk to Angel Sans sidekicks. I am not a sidekick. <laughs> I love how offended he is. It was enough to make my skin crawl away and scamper under the bed. Evil's coming, Angel. And Vince planning on staying. Must be Tuesdays, right? Oh, for crying out secret. loud. <laughs> what is it? You call this a relationship. It's official. You lost uh, it. You said it first. I'm, I'm, I shouldn't be liking these two, but... Because of what? cookies or juice or you two following me around so just back off oh oh my god what in the stranger things is this a snack well there's a lot of food in Nasda you're not safe here you think can you get me out of here? Oh, sh uh oh. You're sure that it's her? Oh. See, so you gotta close the door fully, That's Lila. Right, oh, touche, touche. Yeah, I'm here. Do you know how lonely that makes me feel? This is a heartbreaking world of someone with amnesia, isn't it? Like all these questions you that like exist you. in answers, but lost. And you're very brave. Or who to trust? Except you. I don't know why. Mm. But I trust you. I mean, it's not exactly it's like, like Connor's. Like you've lost everything, too. I have Evil. nothing to lose. Ugh. Not again. Somebody has to know where Cordelia is. I do. Oh. Yeah. Kind of oh. Misplacing her after all the effort to find her. We didn't find her. I'm sure he's taken excellent care of her. I just love seeing these two in a sense. Someone's here. Oh! Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> hey, don't mess with the not sidekick. Nice. We should probably get you back home. Actually, I'd like to stay here. With Connor. Oh. Ow! I don't Ooh. think that's the best idea. Connor's Ooh. a great fighter. I helped train him. But you need more than just muscle right now. You're right. I need someone who won't lie to me, like you did. All of you. What the hell? How 
happened to look? Lauren? Is he alive? Oh. What Lauren, what the hell happened? Wesley? Not again. <laughs> All of it. They tricked us. <sighs> Wolfram and Hart or Wesley? He's the one who showed up with the hot tip about Junior. How do we know he's Wesley, not the one playing this? I don't think Wesley, because Wesley saw the dollar. But what we do know is that Wolfram and Hart may now know more about Cordy's doom and gloom thing than we do. Could have had Lauren's brain in a jar, but I left it in his head because he's a friend of yours. What's that supposed to do? Benevolence? Love me into trusting you again? If I thought you'd ever trust me, I would have never played you like that. <laughs> wow. She is so, so... Yeah, you just hate that you love her. So yeah, overall, um, okay episode. Wouldn't say it's a favourite of mine, and not one that um is going to be memorable by all means. Um, but it's one that really integrates Cordy into uh things, especially with the fact that she's been absent for quite a few episodes, and um. Not just that, though, but it teases things to come as well with um, this big evil ready to slay um, L.A. So um, and Sunnydale's having its fair share of um, uh, big evils as well. So um, don't think it's the same, although that would be really, really good as a final send off for Buffy, wouldn't it? So um, so, yeah, that would be really, really neat. But um, alas, um, yeah, um, like I said, OK episode. It was dry, but um, it's one that really throws Cordy into things and creates this heart um, breaking rhythm, I guess, with um, the fact that Cordy is trying to remember everything. There's a bit of nostalgia with her memories of Sunnydale coming into fruition and um yeah, like I said, just heartbreaking because Cordy's going through all of these pictures and discovering things for the first time and it's uh, freaking her out uh, in contrast to Connor, who's just straight up blunt about it. And ultimately, that's what wins Cordy over uh, is the fact that Connor was straight up, even if things looked, well, sounded a bit dodgy in Connor's um, case. Um, she admired that upfrontness from him and um, with um, Angel and Co, they were trying to skirt around. They didn't want to overwhelm her and whatnot, which is understandable, but I can understand why Cordy uh, feels a bit more trust with Connor over Angel and Co because of the fact of uh, him becoming upfront. Um, and uh, Angel Investigations, they were skirting around. Of course, they want to go for baby steps in terms of Cordy's return. Like, she doesn't know anything. She doesn't know who she is. She doesn't know who her friends are. And um, it's going to be overwhelming if you say, Yeah, hey, I'm a vampire and whatnot. But um, ultimately, Cordy, I think uh, I think the um, um, thing was that Cordy would have preferred that. So um, hence why she's sticking around with Connor, even though Connor is like, yeah, um, I, I sunk my dad in the bottom of the ocean. So it's all good. Um, but yeah, um, like I said, slower paced episode, um, but the lull was pretty, pretty great in terms of um, how that's in conjunction with um, something that is coming, which is all sunshine and rainbows seemingly um i'm not sure if um uh if that if cordy accidentally triggered something on her return um because that seemingly was in conjunction especially when lorne was terrified when um she began to sing which i think was a reference to was it episode nine of season one of buffy yeah it was i think it was um the one with sid yeah um but yeah um Lon freaked out more so than ever uh, than we usually see when he's analyzing people and uh, revealing that something terrifying is coming. Wolfram and Hart taking advantage of that. And um, yeah, I really like the idea of them staging something. So um, the distraction is that they could get to Lon, um, which there was a bit of a foreshadowing at the beginning with Angel and Cordy taking care of those uh, people uh, for, uh, that was working with Wolfram and Hart. But um yeah, like I said, I really liked uh, that idea. Um, and um, yeah, it was it was pretty, pretty great. There were some fun moments as well, like uh, the whole sidekick bit as well. Um, that was uh, pretty, pretty fun. Like uh, Gun being so done with that. So yeah. Um, 
but yeah, it will be very interesting to see what this uh, big impact is. I don't think it's the apocalypse that um has been referenced in Angel. Um, because I, I'm I'm assuming they're going to be saving that for the final season. I can't see them dragging it out for two seasons, but you never know. Um, but um, it it is something big. Maybe it's the calm before the storm, and um. You know, this is in connection. I don't know at the minute, but um, I I can't see it being the apocalypse that's been referenced in the show before. So, yeah, but um, um, yeah, it was uh, really really great seeing um um uh, like I said the nostalgia, brilliant stuff. Like you even heard like uh, voiceovers, um, so that was pretty pretty great. Um, I'm not sure if he could have contacted Buffy. I'm, I'm, well, he, he did give her the lay of, um, things in terms of, okay, so you've done this, because we had a, a little bit of a time skip where Angel, um, basically told Cordy, so this happened, and this happened. I'm wondering if he mentioned about the bar sticking out of her, but, um, probably not. Um, save the bad memories in the bin, okay? Um... Yeah, um, it will be very interesting to see what does happen. Um, I really loved the whole um, Wesley and Lila dynamic as well. <sighs> I don't know. Like, it is so eerie, but I love it so much. And I feel like they, like, even though things didn't quite go down well, and, you know, there's still a bit of trust issues, especially with Wesley listening to what Lila had to say and uh, going to Angel. So there's a, there's still a few issues as well as what happened uh, in the end. Uh, I feel like because the Buffyverse doesn't have its fair share of healthy relationships, everything just is out to hurt us. And as I said in... Um, I don't know if it was um, Angel, if it was last season of Angel or last season of Buffy. It, it was all a blur because... Uh, one thing is constant. Relationships never go well in the Buffyverse, so I could apply it to, to either show. But um, yeah, I always say that relationships just don't bother because you'll end up having your heart broken. But honestly, I feel like Wesley and Lila have the healthiest relationship in the Buffyverse, and that is saying something. I mean, it it's just so interesting seeing them two just um connect and even the little moment they shared in bed before uh, well even the little moment they shared in bed uh with that bet being made that was really really wholesome as well so yeah I, I felt it was really i feel like these two are really really solid and i do kind of hope we see a bit more build to lila and wesley but um yeah i i I uh, I don't know if that's going to happen given circumstances and whatnot. But at least she didn't kill Lorne because of um, Wesley. So that's something. Um, but yeah, I really, really love uh, them too. And um, yeah, I, I do hope we get to see a bit more build between the pair. But um, yeah, it was uh, really, really good stuff seeing them two just bond so ah. um i shouldn't be i shouldn't be encouraging the ship but here we are so um you know it's it's so it's so bad when you say that 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 this is the healthiest relationship because i i don't know i mean there's been healthy relationships but they've all ended in tatters so yeah Anyways, um, yeah, we loved seeing the, like, I guess near completion connections between Angel and, uh, Connor and Wesley as well. Like, there is that, like, I don't know what to describe it, but, um, there is that sense of respect or acknowledgement, I guess, that's the right word, with Angel to Connor and Wesley, but things are a bit more tense still, so, um... <clears throat> yeah, um, it's it's not right there yet, but um, it it's nice seeing um the near completion of connections between Angel and Connor and Wesley, and we see Connor, uh, longing for that like I guess fresh start in conjunction with Cordy, who is who doesn't really have a choice sadly. So yeah, but um, we have Connor like especially, uh, patterning Angel and mimicking him. We saw that in the beginning, and um, you know just navigating his way in the hotel sneakingly and i'm wondering i'm i'm wondering if that's been his first time um 
So, yeah, because I, I feel like um, he's done that quite a few times. Um, but, um, yeah, there is that sense of longing, but things are still a bit too raw in terms of emotions. So, yeah, but um, it was it's really nice seeing um, that kind of acknowledgement from Angel to not just Wesley, but also Connor as well. So, but things are still a bit tense between the pair. So yeah um but yeah overall it was really um it was um neat seeing cordy being integrated again like i said it was an okay episode at, at best and um is you know probably honestly one of the weakest episodes in quite some time for angel so um yeah because it wasn't you know too crazy and um you know there wasn't really much flavor going uh, well with this episode so yeah but it was still nice to have cordy being reintegrated and to you know delve into that heartache again as we do with the buffy verse and relationships so yay uh, unless you're wesley and lila so yeah, and even if that ends in tatters, I mean, it's not like, um, you know, it's 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 not like a cute relationship. Like I don't know Willow and Tara, where, um, you know, one heartache and then suddenly you just want to curl up in a bed for five days and not want to talk to the world. So yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah, I really um thought that this was an okay episode. So yeah, nothing too great. Nothing, you know. Yeah, so that's it. But um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. I uh, you can check my media, you can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. I have no idea what I'm doing with my life anymore. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles.